next guest is a very funny comedian. He's uh, on at Zany's Chicago, January the 3rd through the 8th. Please welcome Michael Palasak, everybody. Yeah. Michael Palasak. Thank you. <laughs> I have a lot of food allergies. That's attractive. Uh, <laughs> the doctor told me a reason, like I eat an apple, my mouth swells up and it's hard to breathe. It's because my body sees the apple as a foreign substance. <laughs> and that's why my body reacts to protect itself, is by swelling up and making it hard to breathe. <laughs> my body's an idiot. That's a horrible security system. <laughs> I would never purchase that for anything. <laughs> Ever, like, how's this car alarm work? Well, it locks you inside and then it explodes. <laughs> we're gonna shop around a little bit. <laughs> we really, really weren't gonna buy today anyway, <laughs> necessarily. I played sports and stuff when I was in high school. I started at quarterback on the football team as a sophomore, and we lost all of our football games. <laughs> That's it. Sometimes we even lost in practice. I'm not sure how. I just felt it. <laughs> they just suck because we want to be really good, and we just weren't. And that's when all those high school football movies started coming out, where they were, were really good already, and the sport was just like a metaphor for solving some bigger issue, which is a great movie. But that's hard to relate to. We're not even good at that sport yet. <laughs> like, like, remember the Titans came out when I was in high school? It was like, half the guys are white, and half the guys are black, and they're all really good. And they're gonna win all their games. And the whole first part of the movie, they don't like each other. Cause they're so different. Cause they're white. And they're black. <laughs> and they're so different. <laughs> I'm like, that's ridiculous. I play high school football in a small town in Indiana. We would have loved to have a black guy on our team. <laughs> we would have been very supportive of that integration process. Just been like, you are good. <laughs> or at least the other team will think that you are. <laughs> you can finally run play action. <laughs> it's weird growing up in a small town because everyone still tried to be cool in high school, even though no one really knew how. You know? Like one of my friends, my junior in high school, got a hoop earring in one ear, which is fine. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Next week he came back, he had hoop earring in the other ear too. I was like, oh, someone's not sure about something. <laughs> I must inquire. I was like, why did you get a hoop earring in one ear last week? And now you have a hoop earring in both ears this week. There's one on layaway. <laughs> He's like, well, the guy said, if you get a hoop earring in one ear, that means you're gay. If you get a hoop earring in both ears, that means you're straight. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> but that is a great way to sell earrings. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that with other products. <laughs> How many iPhones do you want? Uh, I'll just take one iPhone. Oh, so you like guys. I will get you a different salesperson. I'm a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, yeah, it was weird. I went in one the other day and they had a little jar in front of the register that said tips for exceptional service. I was like, what? <laughs> How do you exceptionally serve a donut? <laughs> all scared, like, what's that gonna be like? <laughs> I'd be like, I like a long john. He's like, it's already in your hand. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I'm Michael Palasak. Thanks.